Yeah, I haven't used this in a while. I'm a little nervous. I'm just, okay, there we go, you guys. <laughs> up everyone it's me your girl key and i am back with another video for you today so this is another vlogmas video today we are going to be making some resin art i've told you guys in my first few videos my vlogmas is all about me getting personal with my subscribers and just doing things that i enjoy to do in my free time it might have just gotten a little brighter in my background because I did turn on my side light because my ring light just died in front of me. I ordered some silicone molds off of Amazon. We have this one here. It's Vlogmas, so yes, I am doing snowflakes, okay? And then they have small right here. And then these ones are literally tiny, like what am i what am i going to do with these like really what am i going to do with these i i don't know what i'm going to use this for so i am using this resin here that i picked up from my local hobby lobby it's called amazing clear cast it's only 24 dollars. i say only lightly because you know resin is expensive like the freaking gallon will be like 50 60 dollars so i always go for this little shebang right here because whenever i do resin it's just for fun for family for friends i don't really do it as like a side hustle or anything like that so i just get this little pack right here i think it's very beginner friendly i believe it's a one-to-one -one ratio at least that's what i use it as and what i will be using it as in this video so when you open up your amazing clear cast resin you have side a and side b um you i don't know if you can really tell you can kind of tell with side b but you know I'm, I'm almost to the end of my bottle here i also have these little measuring cups that come with the packaging the resin packaging it's usually just sitting there up on top and I, th I think it also comes with some wooden sticks just for you to stir and whatnot. Here are my little sticks right here. I actually had to go grab them because I haven't done resin in so long. I forgot I needed sticks. I also should have grabbed myself a paper plate and napkins. I'm just really not prepared, okay? But, but this is side B. It's very important that you remember what side you're pouring into which cup. So this one's side B. I'll pour all the way to the 30 milliliter line and it's honestly better if you do this on a flat surface which I'm going to come off camera and do that so that I can make sure it's actually right there at the 30 milliliter line so yeah here's my first side B and I'm just about to pour that into this big cup right here and then I'm going to go back in with my side B, take another little 30 um, milliliter amount. I do recommend getting like bigger measuring cups because doing it this way, it is kind of iffy doing like two different parts because you may not put exactly the right amount. Yeah, so if you can find bigger plastic measuring cups, just do that. That way you can measure your parts in one go versus doing it two times like I am but like I said this is just for fun to show you a little bit of the process it's not really a tutorial just a it's just you guys seeing whether or not I butcher this so yeah if so then you guys would just learn from my mistakes but now I'm going in with my side a and pouring it in until I get to that 30 milliliter line. This one's a lot thicker. Um, so, and I'll show you guys, it comes out slower than the B did. And you see how thick it is. So you definitely have to put this one on the flat surface. That way you know where to cut it off at. But you can, you can like put a little bit and it ends up being a lot. All right, so I got her pretty much right there at the 30 line. 
adding this to my side B. You can even see the different color. I don't know, that, that might be because this resin has been sitting up. Cause I haven't done resin in a long time guys. So that's, that's another reason why I really wanted to just enjoy this Vlogmas. Um, because I never have time to do these fun activities and I was just like, you know what? Now is the time to do so. So I did two um, side B's. So now I'm gonna do another side A. Pour my second side A in there. Alright, so this is my cup and as you can see, um, you remember that the side B was a little yellow and the side A was white. You can see in my cup, the yellow is literally floating on the top and then, which is side B and then side A is just at the bottom. I feel like, like Bill Nye the science guy right now because what? Look at this. I feel like I'm a scientist girl. Okay. Next, what you want to do is take your little wooden stick and mix this. Now, this takes a lot of patience and time. Um, you want to mix slowly for three minutes. So you see it looks pretty much like one solution now. Um, I am just going to go off camera and stir for probably one or two more minutes just to make sure everything is, you know, really mixed. Alright, so I went off camera and stirred it for a little bit longer. Um, I'm not sure if you could tell uh, whenever I first started stirring, like you were able to see like little lines. It almost looked super cloudy and it had different lines going through it, but now it's pretty much transparent. The only thing you can really see are the bubbles in there. Um, that's how you want it to look after you stir it. I think it took a little, usually three minutes to do it, but I think it just took a little longer for me because like I said, this resin has been sitting up, but the whole solution is one. It just looks like one mix now. There are no two different parts like it was at first. There are no lines. It's all just completely mixed. To get rid of these bubbles, I know you guys are probably like, girl, you got all some bubbles in there. Is that supposed to be happening? Um, it is normal for it to happen. There are two different ways that you can get rid of the bubbles. Now, the first way is a heating pad, which is a way that I like to use the most. It's just easier, you know, It that's another thing that takes patience, but it usually just gets all those bubbles out from the bottom to the top. I forgot my heating pad at my boyfriend's house because not only do I use it for my resin, I use it for my wax, but I'll insert a picture somewhere of it. That way you guys know what it looks like. I bought it from Walmart. I don't even think it was $10, but you can find it in the candle section because it's actually a candle wax melter. I've never used it for a candle. I've only ever used it for resin and for wax, but I will say, if you use it for resin, you need to have a glass container. Once again, you need to have a glass container. If you use the heating pad to pop the bubbles out of your resin, I cannot stress that enough. This is a plastic container. I've had these plastic little cups for a few months now um last time i did a resin project i put the resin in here <sighs> i put the cup the plastic cup of resin on the heating pad the first heating pad that i had um i'm sure you can guess what came next the plastic melted um, on the heating pad and the resin spilled out everywhere. I still have a stain on my carpet that won't come out. So if you're a resin guru and you know how to get dry resin out of a carpet, please drop a comment down below because... But the second way to melt your, or not melt, we're not, we're not trying to melt anything. But the second way to pop the bubbles out of your resin is a blowtorch. I haven't used this in a while. I'm a little nervous. I'm just 
Okay, there we go, you guys. <laughs> I have a little torch here. I got this from Amazon. This might have been a little bit more on the expensive side. I don't remember, but there's just a lock little panel right here. You lock and unlock. You press it with this little trigger to get the flame to come out. And then on this side, you can actually adjust how big or small the flame will be. I had it on a small setting. I just put it to the bigger setting. I usually keep it on a smaller setting because I don't be trying to melt nothing or anything like that. I'll try to leave a link to all of this, these items that I'm using down below in my description. I made way too much resin. I'm not going to use all this resin. I don't even know where I'm going to put the rest of this resin at. Because I really could have just been good with just one cup of each. This two cup of each, this is a lot. I think I'm going to mix some paint, some acrylic paint into the resin. Because why not so we'll see how this turns out like i said this is a learning process for the both of us i'm pouring some paint into the resin i know there's probably some resin gurus out there that's like girl what are you doing look at it wow that's kind of cool once again building out the science guy type of moment but i'm gonna go and mix this off camera so this is what the resin is looking like now not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing um i've mixed the acrylic into the resin and now i'm going to pour it in my first snowflake i have this little squeegee that i'm gonna squeeze up in maybe maybe i am we'll see oh look at it look at it i couldn't tell you where you could buy one of these my mom actually had this, oh gosh, lying around. She has like a pack of like a hundred. She's into the whole essential oils thing and she uses this to put her essential oils into their little container. So mom, if you're watching this, thanks for sponsoring this video. But I'm going to use this to apply it onto, into the um, mold. And I'm going to pop my camera out. That way I can show you guys what I'm doing.
Guys, I think this resin is curing inside of the squeegee. <laughs> <laughs> because this thing is not coming out. Yeah, this thing, this is really curing while I'm doing this. That is wild. Um, so yeah, if you guys don't know what curing is, it's when <sighs> the resin hardens. Um, And this resin is actually getting hot from being under my ring light. That's also crazy. The resin, okay, wow, that's, that's, okay. Um, so I'm gonna cut the video here because the resin has actually cured and started smoking. I don't know. Um, so yeah, like I said, the resin, this, this is hot. This is hot and it's actually smoking you guys probably can't see it on camera, but it is smoking right now. Um, so I'm going to end the video here because I'm not trying to start a fire and I'm not trying to get any type of chemical damage. Look at it. It's not even, it's not even coming out because it just cured right before my eyes as I was mixing the snowflakes. But yes, thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see how these snowflakes turn out tomorrow morning and I'll see you in my next video.